we women, we really just want that emotional connection with our men. And for the, and this is, again, it's all about that affirmation and our men feeling safe. We've talked about that before in other contexts. This is one of them. It's that, you know what, honey, anything you do is going to make me feel special. Mm-hmm. And But you know what, ladies, that comes along with a responsibility for making sure we do affirm those efforts rather than making him feel like he didn't quite measure up. Mm-hmm. What can a wife do then, knowing that her husband may feel left-handed when it comes to romance, that he doesn't have a lot of confidence, uh, other than getting your book, reading this through and (laughs) understanding his core need, and then maybe reading our book, Rekindling the Romance, and getting some practical tips. And there are five different date nights that husbands uh, can do with their wives that practically lay out the whole plan. It gives them some confidence to play the game right-handed. Mm-hmm. But how else can a wife really help her husband in this area? It's all about appreciation and admiration. That's really what it is. Guys, over and over again, all throughout all these subjects, what I heard from men is that they just respond so well to being admired by their wife. And you that's know, really what they strive for. We are mm-hmm. not really that sophisticated. <laughs> It's not that hard to figure out. If if a wife says to her husband, that was really neat, that made me feel special, we are likely to try it again. Yeah, sometime, exactly. Positive you know, reinforcement. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, there is something about the male ego that all it takes is a little bit of affirmation for it, and we'll go, I'll do that again. I, I, I can, I'll try it tomorrow. Yeah, but here's where Barbara's equation. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is where Barbara's, it always comes back to this, Barbara's equation mm-hmm. really bites a guy. Yeah, it does. Because we, Barbara's equation, Shanti, you're not familiar with this, but. I don't it, think I am. Barbara's no, equation is that. When it if, comes to romance. If a guy thinks A plus B plus C will always equal D, then the next time he goes to try A plus B plus C and the wife goes, I ah, just, that didn't get it for me. There's no D in me today. You know, the guy goes, what, what what happened here? I thought that's how it worked. And Barbara says that women change the formula every time. You know what? I think we tend to. That's mm-hmm. a really good point. We and do. It confuses our men to no <laughs> end. <laughs> yeah. Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I think she can. I think sometimes ladies actually change the alphabet. <laughs> it's not just A plus B. No, they go to Greek alphabet. It's alpha plus beta <laughs> equals gamma this time. And but, we're going to let you guess. But here is where I think, again, part of it is recognizing and appreciating so much about how our men feel about us and wanting to be with us. And recognizing that this is a a huge, wonderful gift to us Mm -hmm. and how much better, honestly, everything in our marriage, everything in our life would be if we learn to understand what's really going on inside of you so that we don't constantly change that equation on you. I mean, honestly, I think a part of it is just simple cluelessness on our part. You know, recently uh, we had a a friend, a young couple that we knew in our church who were getting married and Marianne went to the, the wedding shower for this young woman. And she said before she went, she said, you think I ought to give the bride-to-be a copy of Shanti's book? And I said, absolutely. I said, any woman who could start off marriage with this kind of insight into the man she's about to spend the rest of her life with, it would benefit her. It would benefit him. It's going to benefit their covenant. Uh, I, I don't know if you wrote this book or did this research thinking, this is going to be marital help. Was that in the back of your mind? You know, honestly, I have to answer, it didn't start out that way. Because really, honestly, it started out with me just realizing there was a bunch of stuff I was clueless about. Mm -hmm. And as I kept going and kept doing this, and then we started seeing some of these examples in the couples in our home group. Mm -hmm. And I realized that for us women... It really is about our eyes being opened to things we just didn't see before. And you know what? For marriages, when your eyes are opened, you can't go back to being blind again. Mm -hmm. And that one thing of having your eyes opened, I I have found now that it is an enormous help to marriages. It gives you some understanding to be able to act on at that point. And I think singles, by the way, single women would really benefit from reading this book. 